Good morning, Professor Von Chucky. Good morning, Gar. Uh, professor, I've been recommending omega-3 fish oil for my clients for many years to treat many different types of health uh, conditions and diseases. Have you seen success? Yes, I have seen success. People feel much better after using the fish oil. It sounds great, but what's the problem? So the problem is that I don't have a metric. People want to know exactly how much omega-3 they have. They want to know exactly how much they need to take and for how long. I can understand that. So you came to the right person. Uh, okay, but uh, you know, I, uh, I recommend them to take a very high uh, dose of fish oil because according to my experience, uh, a higher dose gives faster and better results. But you don't know exactly how much anybody needs, right? Right, that's the problem. Uh, it's based on my experience, it's based on reading research on different types of diseases with fish oil. More so, than 10 years ago, uh, we developed a metric that gives you the status of a person in terms of omega-3 fatty acids. It's called the HS omega-3 index. And in that, ever since it's been invented, we did a lot of research and now we have more than 150 publications in scientific journals that, tells us, that tell us what this metric means. And we see that a lot of issues of brain function and heart function come with a low omega-3 index. So this sounds very interesting and maybe you can tell me a little bit more what type of conditions is the omega-3 index good for? Well, we measured low levels in, for instance, children with ADHD, with, in children with other brain function issues, and also in grown-ups and even in the elderly, uh, they tend to have low levels if they have issues with brain function. Brain function meaning cognition, brain function meaning behavior even, and social functioning. And we know from the scientific studies, the intervention studies, that these issues in brain function can be improved by increasing the HS omega-3 index. What about heart disease? Well, the issue of heart disease is more complex. We know that individuals that uh, will have heart disease have low levels of omega 3 uh, So, if I understand you correctly, uh, you offer me a metric that can help me customize the recommendation per customer instead of giving a general rule of thumb, let's say for heart disease and ADHD. Now I can say to this parent, this child needs to go from an index of 4 to an index of 10 and he needs to take X omega-3 for X time. Right? That's exactly, that's exactly what the metric gives you. The problem is, and uh, it's a very important problem, that if one person takes two grams, let's say, a day, nothing happens. Whereas if another person takes two grams a day, the increase is huge. So the difference from person to person is very important and you need to customize your dose. So actually you're telling me it's good to measure omega-3 before the treatment and let's say after three or six months, measure again. And if you didn't reach the level, continue to give a high dose. Right? Exactly. Exactly. So this sounds very exciting. I think it can take my company forward with the service we give our customers with personalized dose. But tell me, is there any place where this is used commercially? Millions of these tests have already been performed in the United mm -hmm. States. Okay. And we are uh, working for in Europe, we are working for many private physicians, we are working for many research projects and even for the big companies in the Okay, so this sounds like uh, what I was looking for. I look forward for implementing the Omega-3 Index in Israel with your help and uh, look forward to working with you. Thank you very much. Yeah, I look forward to working with you. Great. See you. Okay, see you. Bye-bye.